Hey guys, it's Laura here, and you're probably wondering why are you showing us an Excel spreadsheet and not a silhouette page? <laughs> well, I wanted to show you guys. I know it's like almost, you know, halfway through January, but I thought I would show you guys how I keep track of my sales and orders and things like that. Um, I know that not all of you who follow me necessarily sell, but I thought this might be useful to some and I'm just going to preface this by saying I am not an Excel whiz. So if any of you are and you want to comment below and give me some tips or shoot me an email, littlelightsbylar at gmail.com, I will be happy to take any advice you have. Um, so I'm just going to walk you guys through what I do. I've just been using this really simple setup for, oh my gosh, forever. Well, obviously since 2015, but um, I just like to keep it simple. <laughs> So I'm going to merge these cells together and I'm just going to um, label this 2019 sales. And then I like to just go down here and kind of make my labels. So customer contact info. And I'll explain what all of these mean. Item vinyl cost. Item cost. Item shipping cost. Did I ship? And a total. And then I use my sale. And then profit and notes. Okay. Then I just double click on these little arrows to kind of expand and I'll probably have to do this another time or two as numbers go in place and all that stuff. So, okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make um, a lot of these rows have um, a monetary value. So I'm just going to click on the ones that I want that are going to be a number, if you will. Which is almost all of these. There we go. And then let me just show you guys um, an example because I'm also going to do some um, formulas that are really easy. So let's call this person Sally. And let's say, okay, so contact info. So this individual contacted me through my personal Facebook. And so I'll write personal Facebook. And the reason for that is because that'll help me know, like, if I want to go back and pull up an email or um, an instant message or whatever. So that helps me. And then she ordered a birthday T-shirt. And then my vinyl cost, I'm going to write $0. My item cost was $4.26. Um, did the item cost for shipping? Yes, it was $5.95. Did I ship it to her? Yes, I did. It was $5. Total, my sales price, profit, and notes. Okay, so let me expand these again so you guys can see, and then I'll show you the formulas that I use. They are nothing fancy. They're really simple. So the first one is the total column. So here I'm going to go to auto sum, and I'm going to um, click on the vinyl cost, and I'm going to do shift plus. And then I'm do item cost, shift plus, item shipping, shift plus. Did I ship it? Click it, shift plus. And you see these are all adding. I'm actually going to backspace because I don't need a plus sign at the end. And then I'm just going to hit enter. And then what it did is it just added up these columns for me. Or um, Yeah. So then that just puts the number right here. And then my sales price, this is something I enter manually because I know this is like what I'm charging the individual. And then my profit. So here, what I like to do is I like to do autumn's auto sum again, and I like to click on my on my sales price, and then I do minus the total, and then enter. And I know now that I made six dollars and seventy nine cents off of that purchase. Or yeah, that was my profit. Um, so then from here, what I like to do is in my notes. So in this instance, what I need to note is my vinyl cost. So I don't want to look back on this and be like, gosh, 
what did I sell her a blank shirt no in this particular case I had the vinyl on hand so I knew that I didn't need to um, like document that I went onto one of my vendors websites and purchased vinyl for this product so here I'm just gonna write had vinyl on hand and I know like my expenses from there so pretty pretty straightforward um, and that just allows me to again kind of keep notes and um, allow me to know like um, where things are going and you know what I used for it so I'm just gonna select all of these headings real quick and I'm just gonna center them and I'm gonna put them in bold um, just so I can kind of um, differentiate the lines so let me show you another one we'll call this guy Henry and um, this is a text because this is a friend of mine these are not these people's real names just so you know and they ordered two shirts and my vinyl cost again I had the heat transfer vinyl on hand so whoops you don't want to use a backspace that's silly you want to use a zero um, my item cost so in this case I know that I ordered two t-shirts um, for this person and so um, what I like to do is when I purchase when I make the purchase online I like to just um, add it up right away so I know exactly okay one of the t-shirts was 725 and another one was 518 so I just take my math of 725 and 518 of 1243 and put that here did I have to ship the item yes it was 595 for shipping again and my shipping it to them no I'm not they're gonna pick it up from my front porch and then my total is um, also going to be this same exact formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to grab this bottom corner and I'm going to drag it all the way down. And I'm going to do the same thing over here as well. Sorry, as I scroll up, that's obnoxious. Um, I'm also going to do that same thing in the profit category as well. I'm going to drag that formula down too. There we go. All right. Now, what that's going to do for me is it's going to carry out that formula that I made here where I added up all of these numbers across the board. Now it's going to do that same thing all the way down my entire page. And same thing for the profit. So I know that I charged him $44 for his two shirts, so my profit was $25. So again, if I just double click, it shows me that my number here was subtract or my number here was subtracted by there. And there we go. So same thing here. I had the vinyl on hand. I knew what I needed to charge accordingly to do so. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that my price changes if I have to order vinyl. Again, this is just to help me keep record of what I'm buying and um, what's going in and what's going out. So um, hopefully this is helpful to some of you. And like I said, I'm no Excel expert. Say that five times fast. Um, but this has just been a really simple way for me to kind of keep track of everything. Um, one more thing I will say really quickly is this auto sum feature can be used at the end of each month or the end of your full year whatever you want so once you like let's say I'm done with January sales and I would want to just know exactly how much I sold in January I can either select both of these numbers and my sum pops up down here or I can just click on this block here and click auto sum and then hit enter and it'll give me my total for the the month so then maybe I would go and I would paint that and I would write January total and then oh I should spell it right <laughs> there we go and then maybe I would highlight that as well so then I know okay the next numbers are February so hopefully that helps you guys um, don't forget to comment below if you know more about Excel than I do and you have tips to make my life easier I am happy to learn and um, like I said hopefully this helps you guys in some way um, even if you're not selling it's good to start keeping track if you're just making stuff for friends and family it still is really helpful because maybe like myself you know here I am almost eight years later and I'm selling stuff and I have a YouTube channel and if you would have told me I was gonna do that eight years ago I thought you were crazy so just start getting in the habit now of keeping track of stuff that you're making for friends and family and um, yeah and you never know what's gonna happen down the road so thanks guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you soon